how he was able on that angle Absolutely. to tip it in like that. Here's Harden, steps back and throws it away. You talked about the three-pointers in the playoffs. That's where he's got to be effective. They double teamed, you got to look to make a play, but more importantly, crash the offensive boards. Another careless pass by James Harden. Stolen by Murray. Murray finds Green cutting and Green field goals in 11 minutes. Bad pass stolen by Mills. And lays it up and in. James Harden with it. Harden foul by Ginobili. That'll be Ginobili's first. Harden wanted in the act of shooting, but he won't get it. And misses a pair of free throws. And even with that miss, as Harden lines it up, can't get the three. As Harden turns it over, Ryan Anderson this half. Here tonight, everything is very difficult. That time, good for him on the switch. Harden finds some room, three pointer. Uncontested shots time and time again. You're going to have to beat him. Harden hits the three, just his second field goal. Only eight points for Harden. Anderson deflects it from Harden, gets it back and lost it again. Harden drives, layup, missed it. Anderson deflects it out of bounds by Patty Mills. It has been a nightmare game for James Harden as he's fouled as he crosses half court with 104 remaining. Rockets down by 25. His teams are hard to play against. And that's exactly what Houston, the Spurs, putting on a clinic defensively. James Harden not being aggressive. This is a shot. We've seen this all year long. Came out tentative, little passive, turned the corner. Looking to make plays for his teammates instead of scoring. And then when he tried to attack, just didn't get the roll. Give this Spurs credit defense. So James Harden could not get it going all night long. Struggling. The second field goal. And some of the fans with the 30-point margin right now heading for the exits. As their Rockets season going up in flames here tonight. Ariza back out to Harden. Simmons has played brilliantly on the defensive end against Harden. So there's a lot of potential and positiveness, but hard to look at it if you're with the Rockets right now or the way this game went as Harden missed. It's going to hurt for a little while. Bertans fouled by Harden. Harden has fouled out. 37 minutes, 2 for 11 from the field. 10.7 assists. And six turnovers. A magnificent season ends in a rough way. Curry with Jefferson leaning on him. Curry drives. Scoop layup. Misses Green on the follow. It's good offense by Steph Curry getting into the seams, forcing the help. And Draymond Green crashing the opposite. The offense. The message comes, they want to switch the pick and roll. Curry throws it away, and Aaron pass. Tenth turnover for Golden State. It's a bad play. And he knows it. A bad decision. These are the plays that he's got to eliminate, especially closing out games. And that's his, his 12th. Curry, downtown, off the mark. Jefferson able to snare it. And Mike, we're used to seeing that's great offense, a great screen. Him rebound tipped and taken by Curry. Curry drives on Irving, pulls back for three. Doesn't even hit the rim as Irving comes the other way. And Teron Lou wants a timeout. Steph Curry's had a rough fourth quarter. First, the behind the back pass, and then. Terrific screen by Azili. We expect those shots to go down by Curry. And here, don't tell me that's a bad shot. That's the shot he's been living on. One for four from the field, three points here in the fourth. A low scoring fourth quarter, it's 14-13. There you see the numbers, the triple-double from LeBron James. And Curry, missing shots we've seen him hit all season long in what has been an electrifying game seven here at Oracle Arena. They're putting Curry in the pick and roll, trying to get him on Irving. Defense, defense, Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good! Kyrie Irving from downtown! And the Cavaliers by three! And I like the no timeout call by Steve Kerr. 
Love picks up Curry. Curry steps back, fakes the three, drives again, shut off nicely. Found a green, seven to shoot. Curry fakes the three, steps back, crossover, puts up a three. Rebound James with what, 30 seconds remaining. What a spectacular job. These are the fourth quarter for Cleveland, including this one. They came out of the timeout set to get Steph Curry on Kyrie Irving. They get exactly what they want. Everybody out of my way. It's time to dance. Get some one-on-one, -on -one, lulls them to sleep, forces a late contest. That's a big-time offensive play by Kyrie Irving, but it's a play he's made his entire life. The ability to score and flat-out get it done on the offensive end. Irving now with Iguodala to inbound. Shepard trying to stay with Curry. Catches one dribble, steps back, puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound tip taken by Spades. Final seconds. It's over. It's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Offense sets Bryant out at the point. Malone gives it back to Bryant. And his first effort of the night isn't even close. Ben Wallace gets another. What about Shaq tonight? I think it's more about Carl Malone. The Pistons want to see how well he can recover, how well he can move. Bryant from O'Neal and missing. Up the floor for Los Angeles. 4-0 Detroit. The Lakers have begun the game 0-4 for 4 from the field. Here's Bryant. Losing the ball. French was on it. In L.A. in both games. I think the Lakers might agree to that too. O'Neal with a resounding dunk and now a foul away from the play. So the Lakers first basket of the night is a Shaq jam. Foul is on... Kobe Bryant. Here's Malone. Two for Carl. 10 7. The shoot around today. Malone did next to nothing. Didn't do very much at practice yesterday before the Lakers boarded. Hamilton drives. Phillips will drive. Then to Prince. Peyton comes over to Dublin. Scores anyway. Let Shaq go one-on-one. -on -one. That's exactly what the Pistons want. Pistons take the first time out of the game. Good start for Detroit. They're up 14-9 at home. Bryant with the drive. Oh, Underneath to O'Neal who puts it in. I tell you, every time the Lakers get penetration, O'Neal gives Wallace room. This time the bank doesn't go, but the follow does by Hamilton. I'm on to something. <laughs> yes. Bryant, after whirling his way to the lane, ball winds up with O'Neal underneath to George, and he has to volleyball it back out to Kobe. Seven on the 24. Peyton with three on the 24. And then Wallace has the rebound dislodged, but on. That's deflected by Prince, but O'Neal got it. Now Bryant, four on the shot clock from way outside. And Hamilton. People love Kobe Bryant. It's because they're down 18 points. And he's the only one. Right he should be embarrassed. Oh, wow. Michigan after Tuesday night's game. You know, the downside to it, Doc, on the other side would be the travel because you know what only question left is can they hold the Lakers to under 70 which would be an all-time Laker playoff franchise low in the shot clock era and the Pistons have held a lot of teams under 70 this year and they're going to hold the Lakers under 70. Well Al, we said the number for the Pistons was between 85 and 90. They get 85 points. They hold the Lakers to 68. You called it again. Love what George Hill's doing to start this game as Paul George is fouled. He says, just goes to James and a foul. That's going to be LeBron James's second personal. And the crowd delights in James. He rarely picks up two fouls in the opening minutes. By Wade. Hibbert right there. Count it and one. Hibbert with the offensive rebound. And that foul.
is on LeBron James, his fourth. After I came home from game five of the Eastern Conference Finals this year, uh, obviously we got home late from Indiana and, uh, you know, so I got up, you know, it was a late day. I was in the, in the kitchen about to eat and my older son comes to me, he say, seven points, five fouls. He just walked away. I said, you, you, you better get away from me right now. That's exactly what he said. He wasn't like nothing else. He was like seven points, really? You only had seven points and five fouls. Like, I could do that in my sleep. <laughs> right there, forget the foul call on James. The ball pressure and then the effort to pursue, that's how you get back into a game. As bad as his play was in transition, that's how good this play was. Could have been a foul on Stevenson. Who cares? I like the no-call play on. It wasn't a no-call, though. No, I said I, I want a no-call both ways. Oh. So well in game one on Monday night. Screens, rebounds, hit his free throws. And this is Patterson who struggled on Monday night and had a lot of open shots. Just could not hit. He is a very good three-point shooter. Smith in a one-on-one -on -one with DeRozan. Did not take advantage. In that first game, LeBron, 41 minutes, 13 of 23, 35 points. 10 assists, four rebounds, and also at the foul line where he had been struggling seven of eight. DeRozan, very quiet to this point. Carroll with the rebound and a foul against the Cavaliers. DeRozan watched by Shumpert, see Irving jumping out. Once again, they look to corral DeRozan. He gets it away and comes up short. Oh, nice move by DeRozan, and not able to put it down. DeRozan, DeRozan on the drive is turned back by Thompson. Still looking for his first field goal, and comes up short. He thought he was fouled. He's 0 for 7. DeRozan, and here they, uh, once again, they corral it. Ibaka, able to knock it down. DeRozan. Fires and comes up short. Make it 0 for 8 from the field. DeRozan with another miss. Ibaka on the follow. DeRozan was held in check in game one. Now on the drive. Lays it off to Valachunas. Yes, and the foul. And there's an example yes. of it. DeMar DeRozan just still being healthy with the attack. Brings it in from the top of the key. And Valanciunas deep in the paint. They're able to get the jump hook to go after contact. Fourth quarter opens up. Finally. DeMar DeRozan able to bank it home. LeBron James continuing to play minutes with this lineup that really devastated the Indiana Pacers in that series. And I think they want to just keep establishing some rhythm. That's why he's still out there. And hits the shot straight away over Shumpert after the foul committed by Fry on the double.